The announcement of the construction of the new hospital was overwhelmingly exciting. There were so many people here and uh, there was all sorts of glitz and fanfare. First kind of memorable moment would have been um, the announcement and hearing that, you know, we were going to go and build this new building and it was going to be state of the art and amazing. Think of the magnitude of having a brand new single space for patient care. Actually, I was in that meeting that we had when we first talked about uh, the um, getting together the campaign to even start building the hospital. So that was all, that was, all of that was all exciting because we thought this ridiculous amount could never be reached. We was like, oh yes it can, yes it can. Just remember being filled with um, overwhelming excitement and anticipation. Um, a little anxious at first, are we really gonna be able to pull this off? But just uh, a new hope of, and a new sense of moving forward was in the air then. And because of the commitment that Labonner has to the Memphis community, we knew being downtown in the medical center was the right place for the new hospital. The first activity, of course, in, in building, uh, we had to take down uh, the building that was on the site that we built on. And uh, that was a good day for everybody. That was not the most beautiful building in the world. It was not one that was um, uh, appealing on that corner. Uh, and it also symbolized for us the beginning of a new day for Le Bonner. What I remember from that was when the, uh, the ball, actually the first ball actually hit the building and it was like, boom. Nothing happened and everybody just broke out laughing like, what is going on? And I think everybody was expecting just tremendous carnage, you know, and bricks and glass and steel to start immediately flailing everywhere. And basically the MMHI building put up a heck of a fight. It kind of like bounced off the building. So everybody knew then that they said, hey, this might take a little longer than expected. <laughs> I was honored to be chosen to be part of the groundbreaking. And that's when it really became real to me that we're really going to build a children's hospital. And that was very emotional as I saw the staff sing and hold hands and start swaying their arms. Um, it's something I'll never forget in my life. It's the, the big heart that everybody made and um, all of the festivities that it, basically that big announcement and announcing that we were gonna make that big change. The groundbreaking ceremony was the first time that I felt the honor of being a part of Le Bonner during the move and you know during the building of the new the new facility. Things just happened the way they were supposed to and the day was a beautiful day and um, you know the people coming out, the kids coming out, our teens, our parents, our, our patients. Um, it was a day that I'll never forget. I had never witnessed a topping out ceremony before. It was, uh, it was interesting. I, I remember it was an absolutely gorgeous day. I was, I was very impressed with that really cool custom painted green steel beam that they had come up with that all the associates had signed. I was very excited because uh, we had been given special permission to attach a camera onto the I-beam because we wanted to capture that moment of the beam lifting up, the, the beam's eye view, so to speak. Just being there for the topping out and seeing the tree being lifted up on top of the building, which I thought was a neat momentum, and you know, be able to see that and know that that's a part of um, our new building. A lot, of, a lot of excitement going on with uh, the signing of the beam. Everybody's having ownership in uh, what was going on. The entire team knew the importance of having our grand opening on the birthday of the hospital and stayed focused on doing that and, uh, and we did have our grand opening on June the 15th. And grand opening day and what was it, 200 degrees outside? Just seeing all the people come together, uh, the parade, the, uh, just the whole works, you know, just everybody just working together and just having fun. I had done a uh, responsibility of distributing the water bottle, how quickly and how quickly the ice uh, was melting. I remember that. Uh, it'll be in my memory for a long time to come. I was out in the tent on the side. I was uh, serving a lemonade, cold water, bottle of water. Oh yeah, I had plenty of business there. I, I didn't really realize how hot it was until I came to a stop 
and, and found out that I needed to drink some water myself. And having so many of um, uh, past executives of the hospital come and be a part of it, community and statewide leaders be here, as well as having so many former patients and present patients be an integral part of the, the whole process, was it was really exciting. I was nervous because I knew all the planning that we've done for two years. It basically comes down to to final day of patient moving. When that weekend came, I found it went very well. The staff pulled together and the volunteers, just like a great team. The patients were all thrilled to be a part of it. There were several times that I wished that I had had a camera myself to see the look, you know, to photograph the look on the face of the parent as they came into the room. And there was this precious little girl, a toddler, um, you know, maybe two, and she had, uh, she had uh, discovered the light-up silhouettes in the hall, and she was walking over to those and touching them. And the look in her eyes and the wonder and the fact that she just stood there for the longest time in awe uh, helped me to know, made me know that that's when, you know, we knew that we really had done it right. Because what we want is an environment where kids can come and to feel comfortable and to not be afraid and to maybe find something fun in the environment.